Okay, so I was asked for how to do a basic look to wear to a wedding with pink, a little bit of pink in it. So I'm going to show y'all a quick look. So I've already put concealer around my eyes, just a little bit down here, and then I kind of blended it up over my eyes. From there, I'm going to take this rose LA Colors palette that I got at Dollar General. It's got a nice a lot of amount of relatively muted, excuse me, colors. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and we're going to go in with this color right here. Fluffy brush. Bring it up and around the back half of your eye and the crease area, letting it fade out. Like that. Now do it on the other eye. There's no need for you to pretend to like me anymore. Come on, I said I was sorry. No, no, you save your apologies for after you've had disappointing coitus with Penny. It was fun. Come on, this is silly. Hey, uh, I brought you back a little present from my trip, huh? Once you're happy with it, you can move on to the next color. I am done now at this level of darkness. I'll blend that out just a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to go in with the same fluffy brush. And we're going to use this one right here. And technically repeat the process this just a little lower <laughs> and a little bit farther into the lid. From here, we're going to cut the crease the simple, easy way. I use Conceal It All or Conceal All from LA Colors. It has a little yeah, brush no, already on it, I need you to be honest with me. so I'll get a little bit on the brush. Do my boobs look bigger to you? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. But Raj, it's a yes or no question. Well, I'm not sure. Um, or jump up and down. Let's see if they jiggle. Other oh, right. You can see. You can also do it. Just put it on, open it, and close. Um, if you have hooded eyes, you want to go above that crease. Seriously, you want my help or not? Fine. Once you're happy, you're going to come back in with this one to set it. Okay? But they're very firm, so you've got that going for you. You think? Yeah, 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 very perky. Thank you. I really needed to hear that today. Ooh, breeze ready. Yay! Okay, once you've set that, Hello. you can go back in now. So am I driving you to work or are you still mad at me? Fluffy brush. You tell me. I'm gonna take my beauty glazed palette from Amazon. Okay. We're going to come in with the light pink. Here on the back end of that cut crease. Like that. Alright, for the inner corner of this, I'm going to come in with my LA Colors blush palette. I know it sounds weird, but we're going to go in with the very light one right here that has the shimmer. Take your brush and brush it in. 
know what succubus is, but it has stuck in it. That can't be good. From there, we're just going to do our lashes, our liner, our eyebrows, and the rest of our face, okay? Since my eyebrows are different colors, because I do this one a different color all the time, we're going to use black on this eyebrow, but what we're going to do is if your hair is a different color, you're going to use whatever color matches you. So if your hair is brown, you're going to want to use a dark brown. If you have blonde hair, you kind of want to use a lighter brown. We're going in with an angled, flat brush. As you can see, I'm just kind of drawing the bottom on. And then I just fill it in. I don't really draw that super clean top line. And in front, you don't want it to be solid. You want it to kind of break up so it's not a block. Okay. My other side is going to be a different color because obviously... I have it bleached out. So. All right, some mascara. I'm going in with LA Colors Boomtastic. I'm almost out of mascara, so I need to get more, but you want to start at the base, wiggle it around, and then blink down to get a nice lift on the bottom of those lashes. I have, like, no na natural lashes. They're pretty much gone, so this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> For lashes, I like to use Kiss or Duo uh, ones with a so, wand, but mine's pretty much so out, so I'm going to resort back to using oh, yeah. the that. liquid. No, I don't like this because I have to put it on and let run the back of my lash through it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab our lash off of the little thingy. Alright, so once you've got your glue on, you're going to let that clear glue get almost transparent before you stick it to your face. So while that's drying enough, we're going to do some liner. Liquid eyeliner. This is from Wet n Wild, the Mega Liner. Very slightly create a line. Thin line. Across your top lash line. Okay. You'll just give yourself a little okay. flick. To the side. Like that. Alright. Liners on both sides. Very nice, very natural, nothing crazy. You put your lashes on, you're just gonna line it up to that liner and press it into place. He's a born showman. Like that. Do your other eye. And once you're to this point, you don't have to wear make uh, lipstick if you want, but you can go ahead and do the rest of your face now. So we're going to do our face. We already have our concealer on here. We're going to take our concealer uh, contour stick. This is from Wet n Wild. Right here under our cheekbones, we're going to go a little heavy with it because we're going to put our foundation over it. Do you think you know the answer? But it could be a trick. What if when the puzzle's complete, there's a sign in the window that says, go to the train store? I'm going to take your blender, blend up, never down. You're not going to even blend it in all the way. We're just going to... Okay. 
Okay. Trust the process. I know it looks crazy. Concealer now. Right down the middle of your nose. Concealer right here, a little triangle. A little triangle. Right under that that contour line. Why that is. Thing is with concealer, you're putting the, the this where you want light to be shown. You're putting this where you want to concave. Okay. Go back in and slightly blend that. You know, I bet you and I have more in common than we think. Such as? I don't know. Tell me some things you like. Uh, let's see. I like harps, Little House on the Prairie. Poetry, maybe the literature. Okay. Great. Show Once we're at this point, we're going to get our foundation. Okay. Beetle. Go in with the matte uh, Wet n Wild foundation. This one is Nude Ivory. that's on go back in with your blender and like normal spread it all over your face all right now that's all blended in you can see how it gives you that nice contour without it being all on top so if you go a little dark you can actually fix it and going with our Fit Me powder. This is from Maybelline. Um, classic ivory in my shade. Whatever shade is your shade, you're going to go in with. It comes with a little sponge thingy. Don't swipe it. Dab it. Good, then this would be that's it. Okay, once you're done with that, we're gonna grab your blush and you're done. So, I'm gonna go back to that same blush uh, palette that I used before from LA Colors. I'm gonna come in with a fluffy brush. We're gonna use this one and this one, a little bit of each. And up here on the back half of your cheekbone, you don't want to be over here. Just gonna put it right over here. To the other side. To continue on your quest, leave no stone unturned. The next clue must be hidden under one of these rocks. Okay. Charlotte, I, I've got to ask, how did you figure out that it was the geometry lab? Oh, simple. The, the Ara Ara in the riddle meant jam -a a member of the Legion of Superheroes known as Element. From there, I like to take a big, just fluffy brush with nothing on it and just use it to kind of blend. And there is your nice natural look. Add whatever lipstick color you like and go. I hope that helped.